with Sonic point. doing things like up being on ledge and stuff like that can be super annoying for Lucina if she goes off stage. Yeah. Um, so this should be very interesting. I'm very excited to see how Pillow does in this one. All right. So let's see. Game one going. On. Starting out Smash Bros. I think this is a pretty good stage to start yeah. on, especially for Lucina since she won't have to worry about catching Sonic as much. Right. Um, but just got to make sure he's able to land. Um, Sonic starting off with any sort of lead is awful, but uh, luckily yeah. Pillow's managed to take that back. <laughs> yeah, just like um, two hits are good. Right, exactly. We're going to see just a ton of spin dash, obviously. It's Sonic yeah. stuff. Um, Sonic, one of those just so annoying characters to, to be in neutral or at all in general. Um, okay. I see you. All right, so... Looks now, like this might not be one of those characters that Lucina can come in and be aggressive on because uh, one little mess up that Sonic capitalizes on is going to result in a good 10, 15, 20 damage sometimes. Uh, and you don't want that in this matchup because he's, his intention is to stall you out or, you know, try to get early kills and then run away for the rest of the game. Yeah, I also hope that he knows how to deal with um, Spring Top Air. Okay. Because, um, like, there's a. Like, literally, he, all he has to do. Actually, no, Lucina can't. I don't know if Lucina will be able. Might be able to just, like, up air it if he okay. comes up. Or just air dodge. He just has to make sure he does. Now, that. yeah, you have to. Um, it's DI dependent, right? So they have to read. Okay, so yeah. just air dodge through it like that, like you were saying. Um, no, but it's like some, some characters, it's like a body hitbox, so you can just literally hit your move and you're going to get him every single time. But ah. with Lucina, I think with her sword, it might not work out that yeah, way. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Pillow at extremely high percents right now, approaching back throw range, if not already in back throw the range. Mm -hmm. um, and I think he might, need, he might need more rage than that. Okay. Yeah. And Soup is just looking great. Uh, yeah, definitely. Could be in danger of a shield shield break, but he's not totally shielded all this game at all. <laughs> Imagine that. There's no reason for him to do that at this point, too. Um, but as long as Pillow stays, you know, patient um, and doesn't do anything overly aggressive to get a back throw or to get a random... Mm -hmm. Ooh, back air. Yeah, that, back that air. wasn't random, <laughs> but he did re-grab the ledge. Uh, so this is going to be rough uh, coming into this game. We're only two minutes into, so Sonic can just can just do his thing. Yeah, no, it's like um, one thing that I'm noticing is that uh, Pillow isn't planning for where Sonic is going to land. He's always okay. trying to, like, go for the here and now. Um, Sonic is all about, like, predicting of where you think they're going to be and how you respond to their options. So he needs to get hit on his shield a couple of times before he can really figure out what he needs to do. Really good, um, just... Uh, Pivot grab there, uh, just knowing that he's gonna down air. Oh, oh my god, Reed. he called out! Oh, no matter what he did, he was screwed! <laughs> oh, <laughs> he couldn't man. roll away, he couldn't shield, he couldn't do anything. That was, nah, that was timing. <laughs> that, was, that was all timing. So. <laughs> that was sick. Okay, so turn around really quick. Pillow needs to be way, way more patient and not get hit with anything. Um, Dancing Blade's really, really good for tacking on damage on Sonic and catching him like that. Yeah. Um, and he just needs to stay away, honestly. That oh, remember Yo, when shield that broke check shields? right there. Do you remember when that broke shields? Yeah. Yeah, it was great, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what I think so I know. I know, but before it was, but before it was just like immediately. Yeah. Oh, it, was, it was crazy. Now man. you can get away with m and sometimes. Mm -hmm. um, Pillow gaining momentum, and uh, Soup looks like he's starting to sweat a little bit. Yeah, no, it's like after getting hit by a shield breaker like that, that yeah. can like, destroy some he's people's not, mentality. He's not doing um, down B nearly as much. He did mess up that downer, which I don't yeah. think Pillow was expecting at all. Um, so he needs to start playing a little more patient like a Sonic should right now. Oh, no, he's getting too <laughs> aggressive. Yeah, he's, he's definitely sweating just from that one stock lost, and he got he kind of got styled on a little bit, unfortunately. So. Yeah, it looks like Pillow's made the adjustments of just trying to figure out of where uh, Soup is going to land at the moment. As you saw, like he just did a little step back once yeah. he saw there, just placing an S. You see how uh, Pillow is air dodging like that? Mm -hmm. um, he's waiting for Sonic to approach, because yeah. uh, after an air dodge, he has enough time to nair air one. Yeah. yeah, and then in the forward smash, it's true. Uh... And he's definitely in that range right now. And oh, back air is going to take it. Great stuff, Pillow! Oh my gosh, that beginning game was looking horrible. No, it was looking cool. Bad. <laughs> that shield breaker literally <laughs> changed the entire range. Yeah, that was so sick. It broke the entirety of just like the momentum there. All right. So, uh, good stages for Sonic. I'm guessing, like, uh, I, I don't have much Sonic experience at all, to be Well, if he didn't ban Duck Hunt, we're going to Duck Hunt. Okay, so I was thinking so FD. I was Hunt. literally <laughs> just about to say FD, just because Sonic has a lot of room to run. Um, yeah. No platforms for him to get, you know, random up airs or anything like that with. Mm -hmm. Pillow loves platforms, too, is another thing. I know, obviously, he probably doesn't know yeah. Pillow very well, but. Um, now, just general with sword characters, platforms are a very good thing. Just the amount of traps you're able to do with them is always Yeah, definitely. Like, so, yeah. I think seeing Soup regain his patience um, and his yes. composure a little bit is going to be super important here because uh, he has to have conversions like that where he just builds like a massive amount of percent and, and can get away. Uh, so I think FD is definitely going to help with that. Ooh, but right now, just Pillow is just like covering with all these aerials. And, yep. Um, soup looking kind of lost on what to do. Um, I think that's a... Uh, yeah, uh, like you notice how every time he up he goes for down air. That's just the little things that Pillow's catching on to right now. And um, as a play, uh, a character or a player too, when you're in the middle of that match and they're catching on like that, yeah, Nair to, we call yeah. that the, the sleeper because he's sleeper. Pillow. Okay, yeah, I, like it. I, like it. I like it. I like it. I like it. I'll go with it. Everyone dies to it in TC. It's ridiculous. <laughs>
No, I mean, just those Nair 1 confirms. Yeah. Good. How it's often does he go for, like, the the Dancing Blade, Nair 1, um, like, infinite? I he doesn't really need to, is the, is the thing. Um, he plays, like I said, much more aggressive than anything, and I just feel like it's... He can do it, I'm guessing. I've never seen him do it before, though, okay. um, is, is the only thing I can say about it, because I don't... Yeah, like I said, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's not going to take it just yet. Luckily, this isn't pre-patch. Um, Pillow oh doing great at avoiding those... Oh, I knew it! I knew what he was going for! Okay, this could be bad. No, right, he's well, going to live it. Yeah. Some impeccable DI. You know, that uh, back throw did get like a lot weaker with the nerfs. Also, he did stale it too. So yeah, uh, with the first it. one. Um, an up smash from Lucina could take it right now, but Sonic is, is poised to take the stock pretty good. Um, I know Sonic isn't going to throw out very many smash attacks, but an up smash will take it at this percent, I believe. Um, well, duh. Yeah. <laughs> this high percent. Uh, Pillow looking for a backer on the ledge. Uh, oh, one for the read there. Okay, this is definitely going to kill. Yeah. yeah. Killed pretty handily, too. Mm -hmm. um, so another one of the situations where Soup is going to have to not hold shield like that at the ledge um, because he's going to go for the air dodge into, into Nair every single time. Yeah, no, and it, he'll fall for it eventually. Everyone does. Yeah, now it's like um, he's got to make sure that he just like keeps aware of how he's using that because if you can keep um, the way that he's moving with this air dodge, too, he's committing to his momentum forward. Yeah. So as long as uh, Soup actually plans out for that, he can just place an F smash right there and he's going to get killed. Yeah, I can definitely. Oh! That's going to take it, though. <laughs> Good up smash. That is deceptively large. Have you ever seen it a hitbox for it? Hitbox for that. It's, it's ridiculous. huge on the sides, and it sucks you straight up into the attack, too. Yeah, no, it's not like melee where it's just the sword. That one's just Killing relatively there. early, too. Um, yeah, no, he was a little bit... 128, I believe. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, for uh, like at 0% no rage, that's pretty decent. Um, sure. And definitely just taking a stock on Sonic is, is very important. Getting, catching him with an up smash is just annoying. Yeah. All right, so Pillow right now, um, reading these get-up options fairly well with his Dancing Blade. Mm. Um, Honestly, should be trying to catch a lot more of these uh, spin dashes with like a jab or dancing play. Yeah, I can say. see that. Um, not having a fast jab like Captain Falcon Zero Shooter or anything yeah. like that to stop Sonic spin dash is kind of annoying. Um, and him having to time it properly, you know, to come out is mm -hmm. is kind of a problem. Um, he's just trying to go for aerials, which is I think is yeah. what he's seen as the best situation. Yeah, and I guess he figures like if he's gonna be mobile, I might as well be mobile too. Yeah, I can definitely. Well, catch. that's just pillow all the time mm -hmm. against anyone. Definitely seems to be helping out um, pretty well in this matchup so far. Okay, Soup gonna go for the Gimp. Not gonna get it. Yeah. Um, it's just obvious what Sonic's gonna go for because that's just his best option. There's no reason to ever do anything else unless it's like forward air, uh, if they're trying to recover horizontally or something like that. Yeah. So Spring is just such a reliable option that puts you in no danger at all whatsoever. Yeah, no, it's like definitely no reason not to go for it. It's like you might as well keep putting up the pressure all the time. Right. It's like if your opponent just like slips up once, that could just be the stock right yeah. there. So nope, exactly. Go for it. Um, against a lot of characters too, and uh, Sonic's down throw sends them at a perfect angle to go for the up B. Also, yeah. um, just so good on the ledge like that, and, and just hitting with up B, so stupid. <laughs> okay, so yeah, oh, like, he almost got okay. caught. No! Super oh, oh, that good was an amazing right there. Yeah, yes, he air dodged every single time, and he knew that he was going to do it just because he was at such high percent. Yeah. Um. So great stuff from Soup. This is really interesting, honestly. Great no, stuff. It is. And also, the other thing too. At one point, I was like, that's the first time he ever went for spring top air too. So it's like right. he knew at that point. It's well, like he had to do it. He did it a couple times before, but Pillow just air dodged early every single time. Mm -hmm. Um. That was the first time he actually read an air dodge as opposed to just going for the attack right away. And so that could have been a condition from him. You know what I mean? Yeah. There was like, two or three times in in the other uh, game that he did do that so but great stuff for getting that um now we have sonic with platforms you know so it's a little bit of a different story as we just saw right there the up e to downer isn't going to work as well no it's um not. whereas on fd you can just do it wherever you want to whenever you want to yeah the good thing about uh the platforms though is it will give him more options for landing right um the other thing too is he will be able to like chain a lot more uh up airs into each other yep and then uh, also the follow-ups you can get horizontally with those platforms are going to be extended with them as well so yeah sonic can take a uh, great advantage of that um you can definitely get some interesting um, uh, platform combos with Lucina as well if they fall on the platforms. So yeah. don't know if Pillow really goes likes to go for anything. Uh, like that, absolutely, but. he okay. loves um, he loves just jumping into into B reverse neutral B mm -hmm. um, stuff like that. Uh, up smash is just really good if you read a uh, you know a bad tech or a landing option or something like that. Up smash hits really really well on the ledge. Oh, yeah, that was that was way too greedy, right. way too greedy, definitely. Um, see, like I was just talking about right there, the B reverses. Mm -hmm. um, Throwing them out a little bit early, I think, you know, not conditioning him to shield at first. You should always be throwing out aerials while they're on platforms to condition them to shield first, yeah. I believe. Okay. So, put it right now. Um, I'm going to stay on the top. But definitely, I think he should be uh, just trying to control, like, that center stage more. Yeah. Um, especially since he has the lead. Sonic is going to have to approach you no matter what, so. Right. 
Um, what I noticed that he is doing is he's not staying in center stage. It, it seems like to stay under platforms to limit Sonic's approach options. Yeah. Because he can't really come from the air like he was doing with um, you know, with down air and stuff like that. So maybe that's that's what he's going for. Uh, and he's also trying to trip him up with air dodge. You think you can punish it? And you really can't punish the as air dodge when he fades back. Yeah, that's definitely true. Making it really honestly, both yeah, both people are making it really hard to catch each other. Yeah, absolutely. And Sonic just tacking up damage, and that that lead did just shift pretty drastically. Yeah. Uh, it's just like uh, two spin dash combos, and he was already back in it. Okay. Um, Soup doing a great job at staying out of the, just the sword range. He knows where that hitbox is, is going to be, and he's just staying outside of it every single time to not get hit by anything, you know, to, to take an early stock. Yeah, now he's starting to bait in with those rollbacks as well, just yeah. staying right outside of that sword range. Pillar just needs to just calm it down. Just play a little more patient. Okay, there we go. Uh, it was a good, good trade. Job. Oh, okay. Trying to get a little <laughs> bit fancy there, but not going to find right. it. So hopefully Pillow's not going to fall for that uh, the up air again. Uh, holding shield a lot more is going to be really important. Ooh, good mash. You know, from there... Oh! Okay. There okay, we there go. we okay. go. Yep. Didn't take oh, it. Did it oh, wow. my God. Great amazing DI. DI. That was incredible. Okay, that should be that. It. That should be the stock. Yes. All right. Now yeah, Pillow's going to need something to take this first stock, because if he gets behind it all, he's going to be in a really bad spot. Yeah, no. A good thing is, like, um, around this percentage, a lot of uh, Lucina's moves will kill Sonic, but you know, a little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Um, so we got Lucina. Oh! oh! He's just being a little too greedy with it. I think just going for up smash under the platform was completely that fine That would be a fine way to do it, yeah. Um, so going like I said, just conditioning him to shield, so that way it, later on in this... Oh, no, he messed up his back air. Oh, no, that was it. Okay, okay, thank God. So he was pressuring him off stage. The roll was a little bit obvious right there, um, just because of the amount of pressure that he had. He had yeah. re, re grab ledge. Ledge and uh, a big... I think um, problem that some players have is when they're when they regrab ledge, they go for roll every single time. Yeah, yeah, no, roll definitely seems the most common one. Like yeah, all the options. I mean, it was just it, you know it was a 30, 30, 30, 30, 33. You know I mean, at I mean? that point, like the thing is, uh, Pillow did place the F smash there, which would have caught him on the ledge, but he just mistimed it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So um, you got to throw in that option no matter what. So jump or that. Okay. Yeah, I want to see Pillow just holding shield when he's in the middle of the stage like that more often, and not approaching Sonic with his aerials, uh, just because he's gonna get caught. The one thing that Pillow needs to catch on to is like a lot of times um, the way that Soup is taking these stocks is just him going to the ledge and uh, Soup just getting that back throw. So yeah. he's got to be really, really careful once he gets to that percent range. On um, there is only two minutes left in the game, though. Um, and so Pillow's going to need to make something work. Because uh, Sonic is, is completely poised. It's going to take a lot from Lucina to be able to uh, have... <gasps> That's going to be it. Up very good. Spring no! ride. Oh, Pillow. It's Your okay, boy. though. Yeah, I'm it's okay. Like I said, I didn't think he had any matchup with the Sonic experience with the matchup, so I didn't know how if he would be able to uh, do, do well. that. But okay. it's okay. He's still got losers. It's okay. TC's got this. I got a match. 